her doing a quick live nothing long winded hey if you are on my other channel go look at the, i just posted up an unedited video on some thoughts i have about the quiet luxury trend we're seeing right now i had some thoughts that was in my head so i had to let them out because sometimes don't you have thoughts in your head and if you don't let them out they like give you a headache and they fester and you be like feeling kind of funny that's the way i was feeling y'all that's the way I was feeling. I was feeling like if I didn't say something, it was going to be on. So anyway. I know I'm on here on a Saturday. It's Memorial Day weekend. People are busy. So we're just going to give it three minutes. See if people show up. And if they don't, I'm going to remove it. What's today's date? The 27th? Look at this. Expires at 5 p.m. Y'all, I done learned some shit just now. No, I don't want to schedule it. I don't do it now. I'm just, I'm messing with stuff. Hey, y'all. So, if you're watching me, I'm typing as I'm doing this. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is it. 24 hours. Oh, okay, I see how that works. <laughs> I did it. Okay. Oh, people are here, though. Hi, 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 hi. So you you just hanging out with me live today because, you know, we've been around. Right? Why well, is the perfect time? Because you was like, dang, I'm bored. Hi, Birdie. Hi. Hi, Q. Hi. Okay. So, this thing came so quick. I got to share it with y'all. I got to share it with y'all. Hi, Ann. Okay. So... We must, hey, Dre, you know what? I'm really going to work on staying off the site because there's something else I'm trying not to buy. Um, so we're going to see how good I do. Did y'all, hey, y'all know Vincent has his sale right now and his contest um, started. So when you get to get them coins and you was going to buy something, because we all know when we get paid, we're going to buy something. Yes, it is an unboxing, because y'all know I don't do boxing. I wish I could do them unboxings like people do. I'm really going to figure out how to do those unboxings or not. Because, you know, Richard, because, you know, people be making the shit look so fabulous, you know. They just be making it look all fabulous, you know. They do. I mean, the, the the production value on a good IG TikTok unboxing is unmatched, right? It's unmatched because they be going for it. I can't do all that. I can't. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I got. I just, I, I can't make it happen. I mean, they do it. You know, the lighting is perfect. Uh, uh, uh no, this is live live. No, the premieres are on the other channel. This is for real live. Um, so, y'all gonna get the, y'all, y'all gonna get the backstory. Y'all know how I do things, right? We have a backstory. We have a backstory. <laughs> so, let's get the backstory going. <laughs> My shit better not be busted. Hey, hey, Helen, I gotta send you my pictures. I I planted, I planted. I'm 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 proud of myself. I'm I'm trying just to stay where I am. Um, yes, I did. I I was gonna text you. I did get them, but you know I was work. I was writing. I'm officially done, so I'm gonna start uh, getting your stuff together this weekend. I'm probably gonna go live and decant 
maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. I'll do a little decanted Monday. Yeah, so all my work is turned in, y'all. I'm just waiting for some grades. Because we do have editing time. So if I don't like my grades, she's giving us enough time so that if I need to make some tweaks, I can. And let me just tell y'all before we get started on this. Let me tell you the moment I had. So, apparently in one of my papers, I left out a whole section. Because I was like, why is my grade so low? And then I went... I didn't scroll down because we have a template we can work off of. I didn't go into the, I didn't go far enough into the template, y'all. I thought I was done, right? Hey, Valencia. So, I went and I'm doing it. And part of like, you know, you're doing master's stuff. You got to come, you got to put your research in. You got to have some research base, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And it was on this writing intervention plan, right? And hey, D'Angelo. And so... I wrote all the stuff because the beauty of right now, because I'm a 12th grade teacher, is the seniors are out the building. They 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 on their last days. Next week ain't nothing. So my day don't start until fourth period. So I don't have no classes till 1240. It's awesome. So I, so I wrote all this stuff, right? So I'm writing. I got all the research done. I found the research, you know, online, you know, on their library, research library. Did all this stuff. Typed it all up. Did the, did, 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 different didn't send it in one day so the next morning i'm about to go send it in but i i had to um uh link something in so i did the link you know y'all i don't know what happened with word but word ate this whole document up ate the whole i couldn't find the updates nothing so all the updates just disappeared. Everything that I had wrote, hey, Mark, hey, Zinua, was gone. I am freaking the fuck out. So I had to rewrite that whole section in sections again. Find the stuff because I ain't look, I didn't close up all. I had to go find all of the research again, all of that stuff, and type it in so I get this grade. I was like, what the hell? I've never had that happen. It just like word just closed up right and normally if word closes up you open it up there's a recovery you know there's a recovery document honey wasn't no recovery document right there was no recovery document nothing you know i'm like what the hell so that's what happened but so i had to rewrite that whole section <sighs> and i'm just gonna take the grade i get um i will because like i'm right because of this whole section was missing, my grade was terrible. So hopefully, you know, it'll just bump me up so I can keep keep get my B. And if it don't look like it, then I can do some. Because I got some discussions I didn't do. Okay, so now let's get the backstory on this order right here. So remember, I went and got this right here, which was the Isabe Tundra Tundra Nui. Because I had a sample of it. See, this was the good thing. I had a sample. I tried the sample out. I purchased. Yay! Sample, purchased, purchased, sample. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> did it the right way. You know, I did this. I did the sequence that we um yes, everything's done and in. Yep, everything's in. My capstone is in. That's why I'm chilling this weekend. That's why I'm filming. I did an unedited Lulu on the other channel. Some people ain't going to like what I said. But anyway. So I did the right thing. I tried this out. You know. So tried it. Had a sample. Loved it. You know the sequence that we are supposed to do. Get a sample. Try it. Buy it if you like it. Okay. So I did the right, sample, the right thing. So that was that. It got a good deal. The deal was awesome. So then, I don't know what made me go on to the Lord and Taylor site again. After I got this on Lord and Taylor. Good deal. So I just decided to go look. Because, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. So, see, I, I would, I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to work on that sequencing. It's, it's not always the best doesn't always work and here's why the best doesn't that's why the sequencing doesn't always work because you find a good deal 
and you know you got to step into the deal or don't you either sample or you step into the deal so i stepped into the deal that's how that went stepped into the deal okay so i went on there don't ask me why but then i started looking around and i said well this is memorial day weekend let's see if they got anything on sale and sure enough the issa bays are on sale even more So I go on there and I see that now they were 30%. Yeah, I saw it too, but it, I did good. I didn't even get it. So this was like 50% now. 50%. So I was trying to be right. Should have. But 50% off, y'all. So then you got to go through and say, So then you got to go to yourself and say, self, which ones do I really want? No, sir. Calling to me. Because I really don't hear anybody talking about Issa Bay. So, well, let me say this. I wasn't looking either. You know how I am. Y'all know who I am. I don't even watch people. I don't watch people for their reviews. Richard, I love you, but I watch you for your entertainment value. And we start talking about the fragrances. I kind of like zip out of that part. And I just listen to you because I like you. So... With them on sale. And then I recalled. I said. Don't you have a 15% off coupon Louise? Let's see if it'll work. On the sale. Do y'all know the answer to that right now? Can y'all answer? Since we're here and I'm talking about blind buys. You're absolutely right. Even before I see it. Yes the 15% coupon worked. <laughs> So at that point, I have no choice in this matter. I have no choice in this matter. None. So I bought two. And with shipping and tax, because they didn't tax on some shipping. When you know it was, I shouldn't have got no damn shipping. Because I was under, I was overpricing. But I didn't even say nothing because I was like, this damn deal was so good. Um... So, I bought two. So, I went and left the notes and I bought two. Which was really good restraint because I could have bought four. Four. I saved the two. I was trying to do the right thing and do one, but that didn't. When you hit 50% off, you just feel like, well, I got to buy two. And then you add on a little more. Now, the only thing I'm going to say is clearly these boxes are not made. They do not. Listen to this. Clearly, they need to work on this. If you ship and shit, this is this how I sound? So, clearly, when they even get there, because this was sealed. So, they don't have, the, this is a cute little box. But clearly, it's not the most um, safe box. So... I got this, which is called La Route de Emerald. So let's see how this is going to come out of here. Watch this. She's going to just be flopping around. Okay. Looks real cute. Hey, Kelly. Look how it's coming out. Look at this. You think it should be like, you know what I mean? It should be like that, right? So, ain't no reason to keep this damn thing because it don't work. It's a this a flaw in their packaging. So here now, and just right away, right exactly. Because if it's a leak, I'm sending shit back. So then we got this one, and they they do it like on a diamond vibe. And then they got this on the side. Now, personally, I kind of like this one better because it's got more of a plaque. I'm just saying. Um, but, you know. So, we got La Route de Emerald. Let me get some of this. <clears throat> this thing is so tight on my head. I'm about to have a headache. But I need to loosen this shit up. So, let's 
So let me do this before I start having a headache. Ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. You put a, your, your, you tie the shit on too tight and your head be starting to throb. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all, <laughs> you're like, what are you talking about? That's what I'm talking about. If you tie your tie, your uh, scarf too tight, this, this damn thing be like, you get this throbbing feeling. <laughs> you be like, what the hell? So I'm going a, I'm to a spray and then we'll see what the notes are. Had to loosen that up because right there it was starting to throb, y'all. I felt I was about to pass out. <laughs> it was not going to be pretty. Right, that when you feel that pulsing, that's when you know. Let me tell you, let me loosen this shit up. Oh, this is good. From over here. Oh. Right, do rags exactly. I've done it with when I used to have my hair short. You right, because I used to do it with a do rag. You feel that fucking pulse? You be like, what the hell? Be like right there. This is going to be so pretty. This has got sweet, sweet. It's got florals in it. Definitely, I think this one is has tuberose in it. Or it's got some white florals. But it's got a little sweetness to it. Let's see what this is. Who that smells good. Let's just do it. So them two with shipping was less than the full price. And so, right, and we like, mm -hmm. Whew. so let me tell y'all. I'm telling you, I'm doing this early because the sale is still on. So, but here's what I always don't be really doing it because of me. If you feel like blind buying, blind buy that shit because you want it. <laughs> don't be doing it because of me. If you as foolish as I am, own your foolishness. I'm just saying, own your foolishness. Yeah, there's a white floor. It's got cinnamon, bergamot, mm, rose oil, jasmine, sambac, jasmine, orange blossom, and tuberose. I know I smell two rose. Vanilla, benzoin, amber, and musk. Ooh, that's going to be so cute. Uh, has anybody ever heard anybody talk about this? Let's look this up. Let's see if we can find someone who's talked about this thing. That is a good one. Honey, I can't wait. Mm. Mm -mm. it's very classic it's giving french vibes it is giving french vibes it's giving um you know a little black dress you own it party what do you think what do you think what do you think okay somebody owns it yes okay Oh, I'm hungry. Right? A French hoe. You see what I'm saying? We love a French hoe. You are absolutely right. There's something about a French hoe. <laughs> you, you hear this? <laughs> hey, Cheryl. I wasn't really a rant about it or just some observations on it. Was it just, was it a ramp? Oh, damn, ain't nothing on here. Okay, I see a few. Nope. All right. Everybody talking about, oh. Oh, you own the blind by foolishness, right? Okay, so own it, girl. Own it with me, honey. You own it, right? Um, okay, so quiet luxury, look it up, is this new trend that's going on on um, YouTube and, you know, TikTok and stuff. And so it's saying they are 
you know, going for things that are not as, um, so, okay. So like when it comes to like, like, okay, let me give you an example for when it comes to a, per, a bag, a designer bag, a luxury bag, they're not buying the, they're showing the ones that are very understated. So it's not like the, the classic Louis Vuitton, you know, or, or the Chanel with the C's on it. It's a, it's other brands that are expensive, but are not as well known and do a very understated vibe so that you kind of, you know, you have to, like, basically you have to know about them motherfuckers, like Goyard or something like that. So that's what quiet luxury is. And so basically it's, it's a elitism on elitism. Yeah, because basically it's saying it's kind of low key. Um, see, that's what D'Angelo, go watch my go watch my unedited. Right. J go watch my video because that's exactly what the fuck I said. Um, and they're kind of coming for the other people saying, they're, you know, they're not as class like it's like classless, like all these all this all this name dropping and stuff is a little classless and they're showing you the you know very quiet luxury you know where you just you know you're D'Angelo go watch my unedited video because that's exactly what the fuck I said in it I said when you are on here you are monetizing this and showing it so when did it so why is it quiet luxury now but is it even new money? I think it's just, you know, we know we know some shit that you didn't know money. Because some of these motherfuckers ain't new money. They listen. Listen. <laughs> hey JC. Uh we was talking about you in my live with Vincent. So yeah, it was like so it was yeah okay <clears throat> how is it quiet if you're doing videos about it and that's exactly what I said the real quiet luxury is the people living their best life and they saying shit about it see the real quiet luxury people is the real money like Warren Buffett we know Warren Buffett is a billion 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 billionaire but he don't have to flash it he's living his best he lives his life because he's Warren Buffett he and 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 his wife. We don't even know who we, because they're they're the Buffets. We don't know nothing about his family because they ain't saying shit because they got billions. And you think about us, the real quiet luxury people, the real money ain't ain't do ain't doing all that shit. So if you're coming on here to explain fucking quiet luxury, you ain't quiet either. You somebody on the come up. You just trying to figure out how to further niche yourself. In order to get views. Y'all gonna watch my unedited. Because these motherfuckers gonna be mad at me. Thank you. Right. Right. <clears throat> and as I said. We live in times where. You don't have to spend money. To have a luxurious surrounding. You know because. We, we equate luxury with money. With the amount of money. And that was based on older times. You know, we're talking about times when it was like that. Because you had to have money to in order to have some luxuries in your life. Right? But, <clears throat> but the thing is with that is that when you talk about that the reason why it's come up is that you have people back in the day, yes, being having a luxurious lifestyle did take you having money, real money. You had to have it because no, couldn't nobody could go to a five-star resort who was working a job. You know what I'm saying? Because you was just working. And it didn't matter what kind of jobs you do. People weren't there. So the luxury side of that came from those times. We now live in times where when you define, if you define luxury based on the look, how it makes you feel, the aesthetic, 
you had aesthetic and ain't got to spend that much money because it's about the aesthetic of money, right? You And we define it based on these names, but it's actually an aesthetic. And you can have a luxury lifestyle on your coin. You Now, it might not be, oh, I'm flying in a private jet, but for what you have, you live a very luxurious lifestyle. You could have, you know, listen, we live, we are living our lives just like that right now. We are living, you know, on our own terms, the best way we can luxuriously, whether it's Helen doing, being plant-based and doing her gardening, that's a luxury now. You know, back in the day, you was doing that because you had to farm. Now this part of our luxury living, oh shit, did I lose the damn chat? Right. Okay. There we go. Right. Right. And that's what I said. Helen, that's in my unedited Google. That's what I said. Part of the issue is, is that the fakes are so good that you can't tell who's got the real and the fakes now. And so now, now they like, well, we're going to have to drill down to some stuff that they're not making fakes for yet. Because that's all it's about. It's about how dare these little motherfuckers who ain't got no money look the same as me. Because let's be real, at least 70% of the luxury, the luxury channels that are doing like all these purse unboxings, can we say it together, are fakes. Can't we just say? We supposed to believe people who work in jobs got families. They ain't live. They ain't live. Anybody who got a fucking job, they got kids. Unless their husband is a CEO, unless they are running some multi-million dollar company with a go with with you know stock benefits and all this shit. You ain't spending that money. But here's the thing. They ain't got to be good fakes, Kelly, because we can't see them up in close and personal. We, As long as it's a decent fake, as long as it's a decent fake, because here's the thing. You want me to believe that you just bought like every month you're buying two, three purses? I need to know what you do. And everybody's always nebulous about what they do it for a living, right? Everybody's real nebulous. It's a very nebulous world we live in, right? Right, you know, exactly. It, it, most written shit to put on these things. The good fakes are kind of expensive. <clears throat> but they ain't four thousand dollars. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, nebulous. <laughs> all right, cause I'm like, all right. So, yeah, go watch my unedited video. I'm pissing people off. Uh, and I was nice and just said the thoughts on the quiet luxury trend. I could have said the bullshit, the bullshit of the quiet luxury trend. Okay, so I got one more for us to go through. And yes, it's shaking up too. This is a terrible packaging. I'm going to have to tell you, it's a bad trend. Right. Listen. That's why. That's why I'm uh, a. <laughs> but it also translates even in the fragrance community. Can we talk? Let's just talk. We'll have this conversation. Right? Let's just talk. The full retail crew. Those are, the, you know, let's be honest. The full retail niche people or just luxury fragrance people, the full retail people. Come on now. 
Come on now. The full retails who want to act like, you know, oh my, no, I don't, I don't go to crave. The full retail people. Let's just go there. But you know, those are the ones who want to act like, you know, the niche, the niche versus that. <laughs> You know, you have all, so you have that in all of these, because like I was saying, if you notice, I've noticed, um, that there's some, you know, it's like, you know, you can, it's in the female fragrance community. It's like everybody kind of their entry was what they had, which was a lot of designers. Some have had celebrities, but a lot of designers. And you can see because now you have the ones who have moved on and gotten into niche brands and all of this, and that's what they at. Unless it's a trendy brand that's at Sephora, then it's okay. Like, you know, Skylar. I'm so sad, tired of seeing Skylar Beauty. Skylar or Vanilla or Seven Virtues, Kayali, you know. Um, so for the women, it's all about what is trendy. The women's side of fragrance is so trendy. It's ridiculous. And they are so working so hard to be somebody. Okay, so let's open this one up. Once again, on the side. Look at this bullshit. Let me toss this box out. These are terrible. So this is called Flora Nocturne. Oh, I like this one. Look at that. Right. So. She's pretty. All right, so let's spray her out and then we'll check the notes. But, but even so, it's just, it's all about this money flex that everybody's feeling this need to do let's just be honest it's all about the flex your the economic flex that everybody wants to prove like they got it like that who gives a fuck you know enjoy what you have i don't buy this to be like oh i got it like that i buy because i want it right exactly that's the whole point everybody want to act like they just got so much money right until they don't and then they come on here now let me tell you something they until they don't and then they come back and then they do the flip and, and then whine about how how this has been, you know, trying to run a, a, so, a YouTube channel and how I almost went broke doing it. Yeah, yeah. Then they want your sympathy for that. Watch. You see those. I know. If you ain't seen them, trust me, you'll see them at some point. I'm about to do one about Beast Mode Fragrances. This is more, this is interesting. That one, this one, the roots, the emerald, straight up. Oh, yes. This one has a sharpness to it in the beginning. Hmm. But this is definitely giving. You know, I mean, that you know how it works. Exactly right. The fragrance collections almost ruined my life. And uh, why? See that? See, there's always that's the flip. Is the ones who are going to do the? I'm not going to do it anymore. Why did I see somebody? I can't had a whole stack. Right. <laughs> right. Um, had a whole stack of um. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I might have to put this on skin. Because I'm really not smelling. Right? Right. You know. Uh, and then they complain. So I saw this one. She had a whole stack of body body spray empties. The solitaire wash is good, though. <laughs> Ain't go, no lies here. And Perlier, we know Perlier. Perlier is having a sale. Y'all see, I done put this all over. I'm about to put it on my Instagram. On, 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 on here, too. On Perlier is having a 40% off sale. I'm just letting y'all know. 40% off. 40% off. It's so good. 
Okay, so let's look at Fleur Nocturne. And when you hear these, Nocturne, when you hear these, you'll see why I bought it. I went back and forth. Somebody did help me make the choice because there was a couple, there was another one. Lise Noir, I think I was looking at. So this is this is another white floor. Y'all know I love white floors. This is peach, apricot blossom, and mandarin orange, gardenia, jasmine, and magnolia, vanilla, and patchouli. Now I didn't get that off of there, but it could, you know, I'm just doing it. So let's see. No, no skill. Ooh, ooh, good, good. Let me show y'all that. Yep, see that? Ooh, that was nice. I almost choked myself. Though. But, yeah. So, I need to uh, whew, say white floors. Can I get away from white floors, please? Okay, now I'm getting in. But the peach is not peachy. It's just a very subtle. It's more white florals than peach. And I'm starting to get the vanilla. So we're going to, you know, I'm going to let these sit. We're going to play with them. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so I was saying about that. Because, yeah, the quiet luxury. <laughs> because now everybody's going to try to throw quiet luxury out there. Quiet luxury this, quiet luxury. Shut up, you ain't that quiet luxury. I saw somebody do a, a quiet luxury video. And one of them they put out was BR540. Okay, so you didn't get the memo. You didn't you didn't catch the assignment correctly. Because when did BR540 become something that you consider quiet luxury? BR540 is like everybody wears it. Everybody knows it. Even people who ain't into fragrance know a lot of them know about what background Rouge 540. They don't even know what the fuck they're talking about, but they do. Okay. Let me see, right? But whatever. Right? I'm like, did you not? Clearly, you just, I'm going to put out a video like this because I don't know what the fuck I'm trying. Right? I'm like, and then they had something else on it. I'm going to look it up because I'm not going to tell you who it was because I'm not going to blast them like that. But I was like, really? Okay, let me let me just look it up. Right, quiet luxury comes up. Luxury, perfume. And I was like, what? Oh, and Tom Ford. And bond number nine. I'm like, girl. Girl. What? I'm like you just trying to show you got some shit in your in your collection at this point and you just you just you were like okay i want to do a video quiet luxury is in throw some shit together and throw it together and say this is quiet luxury because it made no sense i'm like i'm just like What? Because I feel like this. If you're going to come like that, then you should come with shit like this. It's a bang. Because don't nobody know about it. See, quiet luxury means everybody ain't talking about the shit. So, but you know what I'm saying? If you're going to say you're going to do quiet luxury and you're going to base it on how much it costs and things like that, then you need to figure, then you need to have some shit that people actually don't know about. Drea, by the way, I went to a diptyque store. I went to the diptyque store, the diptyque boutique in Chicago. I thought of you when I was in there. But yeah, I'm just like, what? 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 What are you talking about? I was like, mm, no. I was like, I had a good time. the the sales The sales associate was really a guy. He was a nice guy. So, things we need to talk about.
Y'all know Vincent has to sale right now. Buy one, get one free. Y'all, but so it, hello, it's that time of month. Go on and get your get your stuff, get your get your two, get your two, get your two. Buy one, get one free. Get your two, get your two, get your two. So I'm saying, go and get them two. It's till the third, so you don't have to, you know. It's till the third, so you got some time. But I'm just saying, get your two, get your two. So I had to say that. And um, what else? Yeah, and so then I saw somebody. I got a couple of things, more two things before I get off here. Then I saw somebody with a body missed um, empties. And she had about 15 of them. I swear to God. I, I got to go back because I got, I'm going back and actually doing my, my, um, my, I'm about to do this whole 40 sprays a day. He does PayPal. I don't know if he has PayPal, the four thing. I don't know if he has that. I'm not sure. Right. That's what I said. Let me tell you something. I have a theory. They must walk down the street spraying that shit in the air. Not just in their house. I'm just saying they just spray it in the air. Now, he got PayPal because that's what I always went out pay him. Um, they got to be spraying that shit in the air. Got to be. Spraying that shit in the air. <laughs> they must have it with them and be like, I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna spray it all everywhere I go. <clears throat> because the other thing is they swear that they wearing the shit and people just smell it all over them. Okay, you can layer that shit, true enough, but it's not gonna work like that. Okay, so then there's that. Okay, so now let's talk about a couple more things. I'm gonna have another video. That's what I'm saying. I promise you, they must carry it in their purse and just spray people, spray everywhere they go. So spray the air. They killing folks with that shit. Okay, so let me tell you, this one woman on Facebook, she posted up that she had broke. Her Gucci flora. Ah. Okay. So I then, being, you know, trying to be helpful, I then went and found it at a good price and said, don't buy retail, get it here. Posted it. It was fragrance buy. She comes back with a response like, like what? I want to say bit ho. I want to say ho. Okay, so you want to pay full price. See, once again, the flex. I own all of this fragrance. And I'm telling you, where to get it at a good price? But you want to look like, uh-huh. Okay, then keep paying, paying that stupid ass price <laughs> and have that one bottle when you could have three bottles. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> let me let you say, let me let you live in your stupid life. <laughs> let me let you live in your stupid life. Right, and then once you find out about them, you like well, I, when you find out about the discount fragrance sites, you are sick on how much you pay for some shit, aren't you? When you think about how much you pay back in the day, you be like, oh hell. Well, yeah, I was like, okay, when you going back to your retail life, I'm on. Mm mm. It's hard. It's hard to pay retail. It'd be like, mm, I can wait, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. And I know some things. That's why some things I just don't have. Because it's like, I got to pay retail? Okay. That's what I said, too. I know they're talking about Latafa's being sued and all that other bullshit. Uh, right. Like, right, because I paid 
which I knew I should have because they having a sale um, for per lesson. Like, but let me say this. I, I watched it and everybody's talking about, oh, they're being sick too. First off, how y'all know that? When shit comes out, you be like, how the fuck do you know this? Do you know somebody works in Latafa? Right? Yeah, I mean, but you're not paying retail. Um, they're saying they're being sued by Tom Ford for these bottles and everything. We're going to see if they come out with some more. Because I think people want, I think, real talk, I think um, Estee Lauder is putting that out there to make people think that shit's happening. Yeah, you know, time for it. Um, right. Right. Exactly. I think they're just re-releasing, but I think everybody's talking about their... Now, and I think it's coming because um, Fragrance Buy will list stuff and say they're delisting it. And this, like, it's a clearance. Um, right? And so I think they're saying it's a copyright infringement. But first off, the Middle Eastern companies don't give a fuck about a copyright infringement. Let's be honest. That shit don't mean a damn thing over there. But what exactly did they cop? What, what copyright infringement? Uh, this is a bottle that they sell this style bottle everywhere. You can buy this, but I could go buy this bottle. Um, they have not said their time for. See, you can come for them if it is a direct fake. Then yes, you could say something. But this has their name on it. Change the name. Yes, exactly. So that's why it's bullshit. I just think that real talk, somebody um, Right, right. And they come for Fraser's World and Fraser's World does the same thing. I just think that that's some type of rumor that somebody's putting out there to discredit the Latafas. And I would not be surprised if it ain't somebody from Tom Ford. You know what I'm saying? Because how is that working for you? How's that going to work? Because, okay, maybe they could say, can't sell them here in America. They damn straight not going to stop selling them in the Middle East or wherever. Because, so what it says, rose petals, and we all know they are duping rose prick. We know this. But they didn't call it time for. It, it says, the name ain't the same, right? Come on. Okay, see, CJC has explained it to us. But I don't even think they do have a copyright on these bottles. Right, right, right. See, I think that what's happened is, is that it became so loud that, you know, Tom Ford and them was like, whoa, and everybody's saying they better than the Tom Fords or just as, just as good or better, you know. So now they, so I think they're putting out that, that rumor, right? I think they're putting out that rumor. Because I, because unless they own this particular bottle, you can't see nobody using this style of bottle. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck. I know you wrote the Latafa Vuittons, you, and they hard to get. The Latafa Vuittons, right, exactly. Because everybody's, and they going up in price. Left and right. Hmm. Exactly, Valencia. So it's like, whatever. Right. Exact. That's what I'm saying. Right. Um, they, it's so bullshit. It's uh, right. Right. So it's like, where's this information coming from? Jensen said it like he, he, he got, he in the know. Like he called up Latafa. You know, he know. That's why. Right, exactly, exactly. It's not protected by intellectual property. You cannot. So, 
And once again, all they got to do is tweak it and put something else, put something different in there. One or two ingredients that are different, but still come off the same, still have the same vibe. And there you have it. So therefore you cannot, because the fact is, is that if they're not, you can't even prove that they're using your exact formula because more than likely they're not. So it's, you know what I'm saying? He acted like he just called me. He's oh, they're going to. And they're going to, you know, they're going to get. Look, his ass probably worked for Latafa. So that, because Latafa like, listen, we want to. Right? You can, you can, you can put this in. A, you can take this and put this in a bad spectrum trauma. You, JC, am I not correct? Am, am I not correct? You can take a fragrance. There's a, a machine you can put it in and it will spit out the notes. So there, okay? So there, okay. So there's that, you know what I'm saying? So no. See, okay, see what I'm saying? So yes, so yeah, you can... <laughs> And if that's the case, then they should be coming after everybody. You're coming after them because you don't like the, the style of their bottles, but you're not going to come after everybody else who's doing shit that's basically lost cherry or whatever. No, but it, when I watched it, I was like, oh, okay. But then I thought about it and said, how the fuck does he know? Where is this at? Where is he getting this information from? Because he never said where he got the information. He just knows. He's in the know. He knows. Yeah, get shut up, man. That's some bullshit. Tom Ford probably probably paid him for that shit so that to tell people, y'all better leave them alone. You better leave them little top of fours alone. You know what? I'm going I'm to talk about my little top of fours. I'm going to wear my motherfucking little top of fours. I'm going to spray them bitches all over me, and I'm going to smell good. Rose petals and me got a thing. Hey Chantel, <laughs> crazy the fuck, right? You know, no, absolutely not. We're not going for that stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, so that was that. <laughs> and oh, should I, should, should I show y'all some other stuff I got? So yeah, I'm like, whatever. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got. Hurry up and buy them because they're going away. That's why it's like. No, he was talking about if you want them, you should get hurry up and get them right now. Because they're going to be gone because they're being sued, blah, blah, blah. Alec, because I'm going to need. Hey. Can we see support documents? You know what? That's what I'm saying, D'Angelo. It sounds like Latafa paid him to increase their sales. What are they doing? Well, because, you know what? Rose petals... It's so good to like layer with things. It's such a good little layering rose, you know? Just be smooth. So I just spray it all over the room. It's just a good little fragrance, you know? You want to amp up a little rose? Don't let rose petals in it. Now, D'Angelo was in this conversation. Um, Ray. So I, I, it's time for going to like come for all of us who got the Latafa Fords. They're gonna say cease and desist talking about them because they ain't our stuff. They 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 like us. Like I always say, the people who gonna spend that money on time, they gonna spend their money on time. The people who ain't like me, like you, we gonna buy the Latafas. Because it was just so weird that all of a sudden, and then and then he came out with. All of the ones that were the time for it ones. Yeah, you know. And he was talking about, yeah, this, this. So, 
So I got some other things. Hi, Margo. Let me show y'all some other things I got. Okay. Would y'all like to see it? Maybe so. I got some shoes, but they upstairs. So I hi Rose. So I got me some dried Yolanda. I got me some dried Yolanda. I have to be careful with it. And it ain't pretty. So Lisa, L.A. Sanders, they was in this conversation with me. So we were talking about the longevity thing. And how everybody, because I did a TikTok live earlier today. Um, you know, this whole thing about fragrances having to last for 52 hours. Now, here's what I'm going to say about that. First off, I ain't got no problem with a fragrance that lasts like six hours. Six hours is a great amount of time. Because by then, I want to get rid. Y'all might want to change it. Right? Now, here's the other thing I was talking about. It's so interesting, this whole thing about beast mode fragrances, right? This is why I'm saying it. Because you have this thing where everybody's talking about, oh, you know, I want to last for 17,000 hours on my skin and last forever on my clothes and everything. But then you have it on, so, and only use three sprays. Now, we know we team over spray over here. It's a whole lot of us in here. But on top of it, but then they want it to last like for 12 hours. But then complain about how they're not using up their fragrances. So my, my question is always this, especially for the ones who be talking about they're using up fragrances. If you only wear things that you say last forever on your skin, how are you using them all up? Because are you respraying? Because the whole point is if it lasts for six hours, just have a decant of it. Have some with you and respray. That's why you buy the fucking bottles. So, let me say that, JC. Hold on. Let me say that. So then, here's my next question. What exactly is the fixative that they're using to make it last so long on your skin? And is it good for our skin? See, I have a prediction. I have a prediction that there is going to come a time where there's going to be a big thing of fallout about how wearing some of these fragrances these beast mode fragrances that can last forever on your skin are fucking with people's skin in a long term see if I stop buying fragrances right now I would probably have I could wear fragrances for the rest of my entire life probably I'm 56 give me even if I'm here 30 more years I got enough fragrances that could probably last me for that whole 30 years, right? If I'm wearing it sparingly, whatever. So why do we need to make it last long? Why is this a big deal to like just respray? Why is it like it, we everybody now I get it if the damn stuff is if I can't smell it if it disappears on my skin in an hour then I got a problem I, I don't I don't need it to last I, that's a problem but if it lasts six hours that's a good that's a good amount of time I feel like this that's about good enough of time for something to be able to stick to my skin and me smell it I'm just being real with y'all because after that and don't get me wrong, I do have something that lasts longer. But when you think about it, that's about the fixative that they're putting in the perfume. What fixative is doing all this to us? Y'all didn't think about it like that, though, did you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying.
See? I'm just saying. Now, y'all marinate on that. Oh, let me just say this, JC. By the way, um, Vincent sent me that picture, y'all. So y'all going to work on something soon? We should know first over here. Don't nobody else need to know, but we should know first. If y'all doing something together. I'm just saying. That's how we feel over here. If you and Vince about to do something, we need to. Oh, I done sprayed that rose prick. I smell lovely. Okay, wait a minute. You got a whole fragrance on, and I ain't smell none of it. Helen ain't heard nothing about it. You know what? You you real shady right about now. You real shady. Real shady. We don't even know what this Kai fragrance is. Shady. Helen, you on here. Did you see that shit that he just said? I'm just... I'm... Okay. All right, y'all. I need to go eat some food. What have I eaten today? Oh, toast and bacon bits. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all. This, this is my new ghetto meal. Helen, did I tell you I started my plants? I'm going to have to show you my little plants. My little, I, did I tell y'all I started my plants? My plants is in the back. They starting to plant up. They, you know, I bought some plants and then I did some seeds. So I, I, I think I want another pot. But I think I want another pot. Because I have one pot for kale. I'm trying to just do a pot of kale. Because I'd be so jealous of K Helen's kale pictures. They just annoy me. But that's Texas. That's why. I'm in Chicago. I'd be doing good to get half that's that. But I did start my stuff, y'all. We're going to see how they go. I'm excited. I'm excited. First, I got to understand how things do. My cucumbers look like they're trying to come up. Yay. Hey, we doing some stuff over here, y'all. We doing some stuff. Yay. I got to find what I, the hell I did with my, uh, sh look, I done misplaced my damn seeds. I don't know what the hell I did with them. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, okay. Just don't be like, ooh, let me tell you. Uh, so, I got a video I worked on. I'm trying to get back into my groove because, you know, school took me out. Work took me out for a minute. I'm good because we were supposed to be getting audited by, C by um, school district, but we're not going to get that to the fall. So, whew, I got a reprieve on that. So, I just got to make sure my shit is tight, 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 tight for them. So, that's what I'm working on now. That's what I'm working on now. Uh, what else? What else? Anything else? I think that's everything. I think that's everything we need to talk about. Well, I gotta put out of stuff. So I gotta put the stuff. Ooh, okay. One more thing I gotta do. But like I said, my days are really good at work because I don't do any work till 1240. So I sit in my room. <gasps> Let me tell y'all though. Let me tell y'all the funny story at work. Y'all ready for before I get off? I got a funny story for work. So, last year when I first started here at my new school, I did ninth and 10th grade math, right? Freshmen and sophomores, 
Okay. Um, the lady who, the teacher who did 12th grade math in, as a learning specialist left last year. So it left us with two of us. So it used to be three, now it's two. <clears throat> and and, the, and as many students as we have, we didn't need to hire, they decided not to hire one, to split the classes. So, because the other, the other teacher had seniority over me, because he'd been working there. Now, not seniority as a teacher, but just working there. Because I'm a more experienced teacher, but that's neither here nor there. So he decided he wanted to keep 10th and uh, he wanted to do 10th and 11th because he uh, he worked with the teachers, the coach, the gen ed teachers, which were really good gen ed teachers. So he wanted to stay there. And then I got 12th grade. So I got ninth grade. So that's why I teach ninth and I teach 12th grade. Okay. So fast forward this year. The 10th grade teacher left. She got a new job. She gone. So he now has a new teacher. The 11th grade teacher who was, does 11th and 12th, she leaving. She got a new job. She about to leave. So this is her last year. So really like working with those two teachers was really easy because they were very organized, you know, so he didn't have to work that hard. He really did not. And I'm not, it is so funny because like he's showing me stuff and I'm like, now that I work with one of them, I'm like, you ain't do no work. You just, you know, gave out what she had. So anyway, that's the end of it. So that was that. Now, we come here as this the end of the school year because we were the seniors. So like this week has been finals week for them. So I haven't really seen them. I saw them two days and then after that I was good. So I don't have any classes because my classes are in the afternoon. My ninth graders I see in the afternoon. So I don't have no classes, right? <laughs> and then next week I don't see them at all, the seniors, because they come in and they clean up their, their lockers and graduation is on Friday. So they're going to have like a senior little thing and whatever senior shit. I don't have to be bothered with them because I'm a 12th grade teacher. So fast forward, we are now talking about um, the next year, right? So now, once he figured this out, he like, dang, she got all the time. And so then the final week of school, I'm really chilling because I don't have first and third period classes. I only see fourth and fifth period. So I'm be chilling that week too, right? So now we got a, we got a um, survey because they love to send us these damn Google Forms about what we wanted to do next year, you know, our thought, you know, for class. So he... My, my, you know, counterpart, he comes to me and he's like, he comes to me, he comes and finds me in my class. Hey, did you tell them what classes you want to do? I sure did. Cause he don't do that all the time. He a man. He just be like, whatever. But now he's looking at my schedule at the end of the year. And he's now jealous cause I'm not working as hard and I got all this free time. His plan was to go to our boss and say he now wants to do 12th grade math. Based on the fact that he's looking at like for the last three weeks, the last three weeks of school, I'm really kind of chilling. So now he wants 12th grade, even though he had the he had the choice last this year and didn't want it because he didn't want to deal with 12th grade math because we teach calculus and shit. He didn't want to deal with that. So now he wants it now because now he sees, oh, but at the end of the year, y'all got this sweet little schedule going on. You, you, I'm losing two classes and then I got my preps, my prep class. So I went to my boss and I told her, I said, there will be no change to the schedule. I said, I don't care what he says. Cause I said, cause I know he coming. I said, so just in case Somebody else is coming to try to get this schedule because they got seniority. Don't you change my schedule. Because he came to me like, like he was on some slick shit that I didn't understand. Did you already put it in? So I knew he was about to go run to our boss because she's a, because he that, no, mm -mm, we're not doing that. Mm -mm, nope. Nope. We're not doing that. 
no partner, we're not doing that. You gonna be a, you can deal with the tenth and eleventh graders because that's what you wanted. Because you was like, uh, 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 because I, I, he don't want freshmen. That's fine because I love to teach algebra, but he also didn't want the twelfth graders because he didn't want to deal with that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well now that's that's what you get. So like, so the other day, right, the other day, it was so funny. I could tell he's just like being hate on some hater shit, right? <laughs> I'm walking because uh, like now I just come in. I've been like going into my room because I had to finish that, those, that paper that got messed up. So I'm in, in my room working. He, I was walking because I think I got grabbed some like some water or something. I don't know. Anyway, I was just like in the room. He was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you kind of chilling because you ain't got no class now. I said, show sure am. <laughs> Negro, you this big, you big man because I ain't got to come because I'm off right now and you still got to teach. It sucks to be you. <laughs> because I was irritated because they took my 10th graders away last year because I had planned, I had planned my, I was already planning my next year. I, told, I said, no, because I'm already planning next year. Don't. She was like, no, no one's getting moved. I was like, okay. Because I swear to God, she tried to move me. I'm going to my principal and go off and be like, no, this is why. Okay, this is going. Because I don't, you know, I ain't that person, but no, we're not switching me for that. No, no. Now, um, so what else I got? The kids is up. That's, you heard them close the door. That's good. That's they. Oh, these are cute. So, can I show these, JC? Can I show these? Can we get a preview? Do you want to come on my, me and uh, Jerry? Uh, do you want do you want to do a live with me? We don't necessarily have to do the podcast. You want to do a live with me? So, we talk about them. Just let me know. Oh, because these are cute. I got a question, though. Hold on. I'm sending you a message. I'm sending you a message. Look at it. Answer it. Then I'll do it. And then I'm going to get off. Because I'm hungry. I have, I have my... Um, I wouldn't say it's a ghetto. <laughs> you say good no to me all the time. Um, uh, it's, it's my like quick breakfast. Cinnamon bread toast. Cinnamon toast. Cinnamon bread toast. And I got bacon bits. So I have to make bacon. And I just sprinkle bacon bits and make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> my grandson is probably losing his mind right now what's that it's 67 degrees outside oh, i gotta go check on my stuff ain't no what ain't no rain here right now oh 66 okay and tomorrow's gonna be 73 i think i'm gonna uh i think i'm gonna do a So JC sent me these. So you got four coming out. One, two, three, four that you're doing. And I hope these are priced correctly. Don't be coming out being cheap. Don't be sitting up here do under undercharging for your stuff, JC. Don't let's not do that. Okay. Let's not do that again, sir. You got a price point and that's it. Don't mess with these people like that. You can have a sale here and there. That's it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go find me some food because I'm hungry. Hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. And I'm going to spray myself with some fabulous perfume. And as I know all y'all, what y'all send in the day before I go off? What's y'all sense of the day? What did I put on today? 
Did I put I put on a lot of stuff earlier today. I don't think I have like one cent of the day. What should I send on the day before we go? And then we're out of here. And I'm going to go find me some food. I'm going to find me some food. I am working. Ooh, I'm going to have an empty thing. I need to do my favorites. All that good stuff. All that good stuff, y'all. Oh, so, but before I go, <laughs> I swear I'm going to get off of here. My fragrance oils came in that I uh, ordered from England. So I got some fragrance oils because I'm going to uh, make, ooh, because I'm going to make myself some fragrance, some body oils. Everybody talking about this Hufflepuff. I don't know nothing about it. Let me tell you, these things are really put together well. Oh, you picking out your stuff? I told you, that sale is here. Oh, this smells good. Oh, that smells good. So I bought um, cause I'm I'm play I want to play with them. Like I'm gonna do a you know if I if once I create my base oil, I want to then um. You know, scent my fragrance, so I can have some scented body oils that I want to have. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. And it started out because all I know is House of Siage. Um, I wanted a Yalan Yalan body oil, and I couldn't find one. So that's why I got the dry Yalan Yalan oil um, and everything. Because I'm playing with. Let me see how this smells too. So I got a bunch. Plus the ones I already have. So I already have fragrance oils. So I'm just, you know, trying to make. No, I'm not. Listen, before y'all ask. Um, and before y'all ask me this. No. I am not trying to. Um, start making stuff and selling it. I'm not merching this. I'm just, this is, this is for me, just me playing around with it. Um, because, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, the automatic assumption is, is I'm trying to sell some shit. No. Uh -uh. Now, I will not say that it might not happen in the future, but right now, no, it's just me playing with it. So, am I going to show y'all stuff? I will probably tell you about it, but it's not like I'm going to do a whole video of me making it. And I ain't doing all that shit because... I'm not good at those type of things, just so you know. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got a couple. Okay, so, yeah, you need to, um, you need to, yeah, JC, so before we go, we got to figure out a day we can go live, and then we can talk about after you send them to me. Because I'm willing to do a first impressions. You know I've done it before. And you know if I don't like that shit, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I hate to be that way, but I will. Okay. <laughs> so I bought... Um, I'm thinking if I do jazz and coconut oil. Ooh, that should be good. I do have a plum oil. I don't know why I bought plum. Because I do have a really good plum oil. But it's just fun. I might do something a little different. Oh, it's cold in here. Okay, y'all. Let me get off of here. I'm all over the place. Probably because my ass is hungry. All right, let me go find some food. Oh, I had some popcorn with the kids. Bakari, all of a sudden, Brandon, he he bought some microwave popcorn. And Bakari was running around, popcorn, popcorn, gave me the thing. And I started popping it. And he was dancing to it. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Okay. And then... Brooklyn dance with them. All right, y'all. Don't you send me? That. I gave it. I told you I gave it away. Somebody like this. Listen. Right. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all, lady. Y'all have a great day. It was fun talking. Now I gotta find some food. <laughs>